Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. My name is Caesar. I want to welcome you to our YouTube channel on this lovely day. Amen. And amen. We are recording from Solid Rock International Ministries. This is our local church. We are located in uh, uh, the county of Nairobi. We are opposite the Jericho Market, which is uh, next to uh, the Metropolitan Hospital, Buru Buru. And our uh, services start at 8 a.m. and we end at about 12 p.m. Uh, we will be happy to see you and worship the Lord together with you in this place. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, we are in the book of Isaiah chapter number 10 uh, from verse 12 to verse 19. And we will uh, pick up from where we had left last time. About uh, It was about the judgment of God upon the kingdom of Assyria. And if you happen to be new here for the first time, I want to welcome you. And we are so happy to see you here. The Lord bless you. Amen. And to our returning viewers, we want to say thank you so much for always coming back. And uh, we bless the Lord for you. And to everyone else, we can now watch all our advertisements. All the advertisements that are running on this show and in all our videos, you can be able to watch them because when you do that, you are helping us to advance the kingdom of God. As we always say in our channel, uh, that just says in Matthew chapter 11 and verse number 12, that since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom is forcefully advancing and forceful men are taking hold of it in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, as I said earlier, we are in the book of Isaiah chapter 10. Isaiah chapter 10 from verse number 12 all the way to verse 19. The second part of the judgment of God upon the king of Assyria. And uh, God says in verse number 12 that it shall come to pass that after I have dealt with, uh, with Jerusalem, after I have dealt with Zion. Remember God was judging uh, Zion, was judging Jerusalem and uh, the kingdom of Samaria. Now he turns his hand uh, to his rod, the rod of his indignation. Remember that he said that uh, he had appointed the king of Assyria to carry out his judgment. But then the king of Assyria became proud. And in verse 12, the Bible says that God, after he has dealt with Judah, he will go to the king of Assyria. For he will say to the king of Assyria, I, the Lord, I have this against you. For you say in your heart, you are proud and you are arrogant in your heart. You say that by my hand, I have removed the nations. Like a valiant man, I have struck down the nations. Praise God. Hallelujah. From verse number 12, I have removed the boundaries of the people. Like a valiant man, like a warrior, I have struck down all the people. I have gathered, I have gathered all the eggs that remain in the nest. Praise be to God. I have gathered all the eggs that remain in the nest. By my hand, I have done this. And that was the pride that was in his heart, in the heart of the king of Babylon, of Assyria. He said that he has removed all the boundaries. He has struck down every person. There was no one who was standing on his way. Praise be to God. Glory be to God. But then in verse number 15, which is our theme for today, the Lord says, Can, a, can an act, can an act boast against the one who chops with it? You know, the act does wonders. If you come uh, from a place that has uh, so many bushes or so many trees, the act does wonders. It flattens the place. It makes the place clear. And God asks in, a, in Isaiah chapter 12 and verse 15, can the act boast against the one, the one who chops with it? No, it can. Praise the Lord. Can the road rise up against the one who uses it? No, it can't. No, it can't. And God was just using an image of an axe to show that uh, the king of Assyria was just 
was just an instrument that was to be used by God. And last week we said that if God uses you to bless people, God uses you to uh, take people from one level to the other, you should not be proud. Pride should not be in your heart and say, like the thing for Savior, I was the one who did this. I removed boundaries. I picked up the eggs that remained in the nest. I struck down every man. No one was able to stand on my way. God will judge you harshly. Praise be to God. Amen. And then he goes on to finish by saying that I will kindle a fire. The Holy One of Israel will kindle a fire. It will burn. It will burn. It will consume the, the, the thorns and the briars. Praise be to God. It will consume the thorns and the briar. I will remove your forests from you. And few will remain that not even a child can cover them. Praise be to God. Amen. That was the judgment of God upon the king of Assyria. Can an axe boast against the one who chops you? Can the road lift itself up against the one who carries it? No, it can't. You can lift yourself up against God who has used you to be a blessing to other people. And the judgment to, uh, to Assyria is a reminder to us to always be humble. Humility was the theme uh, of our last message in the book of Isaiah. From Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Humility. We need to remain humble when God is using us. Praise be to God. And uh, this is a reminder to us. This is a reminder to us to always remain humble. Praise be to God. Unless we want the Lord to kindle a fire, as he said to the king of Azavia, he will kindle a fire, the Holy One will kindle a fire, and it will consume all the thorns and all the briars, all the trees. Nothing will be left. That even a child cannot count the number of trees that are remaining. Praise be to God. Amen. I pray that this word has been a blessing to you. Thank you so much for always tuning in to our channel. Share this video. Have you been seeing? Have you been seeing our friends sharing our videos across social networks? And we say a big, big thank you. God bless you. And to the rest of us, let's share our videos and uh, always remember to uh, to comment underneath. Let us know that you are watching. Praise be to God. And we will be praying for you. We will be on our knees to pray for you. Glory be to God. And uh, before I go, let me always remind, let me uh, as well remind us that uh, we need to watch our advertisements because when we do that, you are helping us to advance the kingdom of God. God bless you. Bye bye. See you again tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen.